Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and today we need to talk about something that the LCS absolutely needs to change right now. Um, earlier today, I was watching one of the best, I guess, regular season best of ones uh, I've ever seen in, in the West, whether it be the LEC, LCS, whatever, and that was obviously um, the Fnatic game that we just saw earlier today between Fnatic and Vitality. Um, part of it because it was such a banger, so back and forth, so many big moments, you know, uh, both teams almost making big plays both teams having their fair share of blunders uh you know to really get like a super super exciting game you got to have some big plays some missed plays some out plays all that stuff um but also the fact that Fnatic was playing with some of their playoff hopes on the line and their season on the line especially this year in the LEC when six teams make the playoffs and four go to worlds just even getting into playoffs gives you such a good shot at making it to worlds uh and all these different things the fact that Fnatic's been uh, underperforming but now Excel can't win a game and freaking Vitality can't win a game and all of this is jumbling up at the same time uh, has led to so many storylines and we're on the edge of our seats for all of these games uh, and then you look over at the LCS side of things and you have eight teams making the playoffs and I hope that I'm totally not just making this up this could be a I, I'm not lying I'm not like trying to uh, spread misinformation or whatever but I believe the eight team playoff in the LCS first came about when COVID started because like there was all these weird changes of us going from in person to online and all this different stuff uh, and I thought what the LCS said was like they didn't want somebody to not make the playoffs or not have a chance in the playoffs when all this weird craziness was going on um, so I think that's why they expanded the playoffs originally but now it's not even like that yes there is still some online games and some in-person games and still some craziness and stuff but like if you're not in the top six I don't think you can really use those things as an excuse and and maybe I'm way off on that but my memory serves me uh, I, that's what in my head at least that's what happened like two years ago when they expanded to the 18 playoffs and I just don't get it. I think it is really, really stupid. And, you know, if we look at uh, what's going on, you know, in the uh, LEC standings, you can see a real, real tight race for this um, sixth spot. And it's actually worked out well for the LEC for whatever reason this year. You know, no team has been super dominant, which means all the teams have a ton of wins. Even your ninth place team is seven and 10 right now, um, which has made this race for the sixth spot really, really interesting. And like, hey, if, if you get to nine wins, you're going to have a chance to get in the playoffs and uh, then you're going to have a a decent chance to go to world. I know they were talking about on the broadcast where, uh, what 67% of the teams that make the playoffs are going to go to world. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And it has just been so cool. And watching those games today was like, dang, I am really in this. I'm really hyped up and excited. And then by the time the LCS came around, it was just a big letdown. Now I know what people are saying. And if we look at the standings this year, say the LCS was just say six teams were in the playoffs, it wouldn't be some exciting, interesting playoff race or anything like that because the gap between Flying Quest and TSM is three games. The playoff race would already be over. We'd have our top six, but I think that's fine. And I don't think that's an argument to, to say, hey, we should have eight teams um, because you can't have a crazy playoff every single year. You can't have uh, the a super, super exciting split. You can't have the split that the LEC is having right now every single time. But having six teams make the playoffs gives you at least that opportunity to do so, and it makes it all make so much more sense. When you have 10 teams, you have a 16 playoff, pretty much nine wins gets you into the playoffs. Uh, and, you know, if you're a 500 team or better, I think that you at least have a case for, for making the playoffs. You at least have a case for being deserving of getting to play best of fives and getting to even have a chance at the title and going to Worlds and all that stuff. Looking at the LCS, you can see eight teams make the playoffs, which means that the tight playoff race that we're watching come down to the wire right now is between Immortals and Golden Guardians. Two, four, and 13 teams. Uh, I, I mean, what, what they have like 20% win rates or something like that? Like, I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. This is absolutely absurd. This makes no sense. One, this is not exciting. Two, this is not interesting. I, I don't care which team is going to go 5-13 and 13 and then make the playoffs. Like, that is just idiotic. That is just stupid. And like I said, if we change the format, it wouldn't necessarily have made this uh, season any like crazy or anything like that. There would have been some storylines of, hey, maybe TSM coming into this weekend would have had an outside shot at getting top six or whatever. Um, but that's fine. These bottom four teams, TSM, Immortals, Golden Guardians, and Dignitas, they haven't earned the right to be talking about playoffs or to be in any kind of playoff race or anything like that. TSM is 6 and 11. Immortals is 4 and 13. Golden Guardians is 4 and 13. Dignitas is 3 and 14. These teams need to improve. They need to work on things. Uh, and yes, I get the argument of, hey, we want more teams to be able to play best of fives and all that stuff, but 
that is not a good viewer experience. It doesn't make things more interesting. You are just uh, taking away our, even our potential at that late playoff push, and you're making making the playoffs just a joke. You're, you're making it like so inconsequential that nobody even cares who makes the playoffs or not right now. Like, um, Obviously, everyone's trying to win a title. Everyone's trying to go to Worlds. Um, but then, what is your middle kind of goal? Is your goal really, hey, we're going to try and make the playoffs. We're going to be a, we're gonna try to be a top eight team out of 10. We're going to try and go five and 13 this season. That is just too low of a cutoff. I think the LCS absolutely next year needs to change this. Six teams need to make the playoffs. Um, and even then, you have 60% of the league making the playoffs. You have teams with 500 records making the playoffs. I could even be on board for, like, bumping it up to five teams making the playoffs with, like, the ones he'd get in a buyer, four teams making the playoffs or something like that. I could see that. And I think six is a good number. I think six is fine. I think it's been working. And you look at the LEC system, there's some issues with the LEC system as well. I know people are not super happy that G2 has locked a world spot without even um, winning a single playoff series or whatever. But I, one, I would say they earned that. And I, I don't think that's totally ridiculous or anything like that. Um, because then it makes the regular season matter. And that's what the LCS doesn't do right now. The regular season does not matter at all. Obviously, we've seen LCS viewership over the regular season has not been amazing. It's been dropping and they make it even less meaningful. They make us care less about the games by making them literally not matter because everyone's going to make the playoffs. If Like how many teams two or three weeks into the season had already won five games. You clinch the playoffs the third week into a, whatever, nine-week season or something like that. Like, that's idiotic. That is absolutely stupid. And yeah, you could say, hey, well, you're playing for seeding or whatever, but, like, that's not a compelling storyline. That's not really anything we care about. And at the end of the day, if you're going to win the title, you're going to have to beat anybody anyway. So the seeding shouldn't really matter all that much, especially in double elimination where... Even if you have a really tough first round matchup, you're going to the loser's bracket and you're going to get to play everybody else there as well. I have absolutely no idea how somebody behind the scenes at the LCS can look at this current playoff format and say that, yes, top eight should make the playoffs. Yes, top eight is better. Yes, top eight improves our viewer experience or whatever like that. Like, obviously, they want to uphold some kind of competitive integrity, make decisions that are good for the league. But at the end of the day, this is the entertainment business. You can say it's the highest level of competition or whatever. And yeah, I get that. But um, if no one was watching and all that stuff, then this wouldn't exist. So I don't think it's the highest level of competition first and foremost. I think it's entertainment first and foremost you have to get fans what they're looking for you have to make things that fans are going to care about you have to make it interesting and compelling and give us a reason to care the playoffs are going to be awesome no matter what people are going to tune in i think the viewership is going to hopefully do pretty well in the playoffs no matter what um, but why not make each regular season game more impactful why not make it more meaningful why not make it so we actually have to care who wins some of these regular season games uh and not let everyone who's 5 and 13 get into the playoffs and act like that there's some kind of playoff race going on right now between Immortals, Golden Guardians, and Dignitas for this last spot when there's really not. And these teams are going to get in. They're going to lose in the first round of the playoffs anyway. Unless they play each other, then they're going to win one matchup and lose their next one anyway. It's just absolutely idiotic. The LEC absolutely has a better system in place and it has let them have an insane ending to this regular season that has everyone on the edge of their seat, everyone tuning in, uh, and the LCS just absolutely does not have that uh and i just think it's so stupid this is really really dumb the lcs you need to change this you needed to change this yesterday you got to change it next season or i don't know i mean this is just really to me it's just a joke at this point but that's pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it i would appreciate that so so much leave a comment let me know what you guys talk about uh, thought about anything we talked about in this video today subscribe save today and all my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace